In this demo, we'll be creating an interactive presentation template framework that uses Express and Node.js to run reveal.js. We'll use Leap Motion to control it. Then we'll use SendGrid and HighCharts.js for some interactive voting via email. We'll use MySQL to store the data. And then we'll use Google Glass Mirror API as a teleprompter. At this point, I'm going to assume you went ahead and cloned the code over at GitHub, and then you've ran npm install, and then you updated the .env environment to contain your credentials. At that point, you simply have to run grunt, and this will go ahead and get the project started. Then you're going to want to set up a local tunnel. We're going to set that on port 3000. Now what you want to do at this point is uh, keep note of that URL just created because then you want to go into your SendGrid account and make sure that your inbound parse is set to that address. And you'll also want to make sure that your um, email address, MX records are all set up. Inside the tutorial you'll find out all the details on how to do that. Okay, I've gone ahead and put up the presentation on localhost colon 3000. The first time you do that, you'll be prompted to log in to your Google account. When you do that, make sure you use the one that's associated with Glass. We'll need that later. For now, I'm going to demonstrate how the controls work with Leap Motion. If you look to the lower left, I've put up a sensor a screen that shows how the Leap Motion interprets what I do with my hands. So we're going to go ahead and do some navigation around the presentation with the Leap Motion. Now if you notice the red dot, that's the pointer functionality. You could use that as a simulated laser pointer. Now we're going to take a look at the interactive voting. So what you'll do is you ask your audience to take out their email client and then they're going to go ahead and email this address and they're going to put in the subject line the programming language that they, that they love the most. So for that I'm going to demonstrate a couple of votes here so you can see it in action. I'm going to choose my favorite language, Python, and another one that may soon become my favorite language, which is Go. And for fun, I'm going to cheat a little bit and give Python an extra vote. So what happens now is those votes are going into the SendGrid server and they're going to be posted here uh, via highcharts.js. So you can see there goes the Python vote came in. We have the Go vote right now. And the second Python vote. Now if I go over to my database, do a quick refresh here, you can see those votes were captured in MySQL. Now if I go check my inbox, I can see that my votes were recorded and the email was sent back to me. Okay, what we're going to do here is show the teleprompter feature. So you see in the lower right is what I see on glass. So once the slides load up, these are the notes for the first slide. And as you can see, they popped up there. So if I go ahead and go to the next slide here, bring that back here. And what we'll have now is the notes for the second slide. And so inside of reveal.js, you can assign notes to each slide. And what we've done here is whenever you go to a new slide, those slides pop up, uh, those notes pop up and appear on your Google Glass. So here are some references for you. You can email me at elmer.thomas at syngrid.com if you have any particular questions. You could get the code at GitHub, get my Thinking Serious account. There's also a companion blog post for this that lists out all the steps to get this presentation system set up on your machine. You can find me on Twitter at Thanking Sirius and on Google Plus at Plus Elmer Thomas. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you rock your next presentation. Let me know how it goes. Happy hacking.